before 1977, years in which I taught theology here at Concordia. During those years, we worshiped at St. John's New Church. We had the family spot right down the second pew from the front. <laughs> and that's so that my little ones could see everything that was going on in the front. And that also included seeing Sunday after Sunday the edifying mosaics of Bill Wolfram on the baptismal font, pulpit, and altar. Dick Wigman's festive banners thrilled us. And Marcy's stained glass design always told us this space was special. In addition to the worship experience, of course, I had the privilege of coming to know Marcy very personally and intimately. And we had innumerable conversations together in which we talked about the role of the visual for enhancing worship. Marcy also accepted various assignments in which I asked him to create something special for a festive occasion. You see this? <laughs> that came out of a conversation with him one October in which I asked him to do something on the motif of marriage. So we had to talk about symbols that are used to commemorate marriage. And this is the result of Marxism's creative vision. <coughs> now fast forward to the year 2000. We have moved back to Wisconsin. And Carol and I have uh, had given attention to our estate planning as things were unfolding in our personal lives. And we had established the Land Family Foundation with our six children as directors. We felt that's a way we hopefully can teach them something about Christian stewardship. We had our annual meeting in 2000, and I indicated to them, I'd like to do something special for Concordia Seward. And I like this special project to involve the art department. I wanted some avenue to expand the ministry of these very dedicated, gifted servants of Christ. And the idea I had was to propose to the art department and then through the art department to the administration at Concordia and ultimately to the regions because in this whole process, I made clear there would be no land contribution without formal uh, recognition by the administration and leadership at Concordia. The regions had to approve the vision and project. Anyway, this proposal that I put before my kids was, I'd like to propose a six-year program where we would provide funding for each of those years sufficient to hire a part-time worker who would design a, a proposal for congregations to enhance their sanctuary for Christmas or for Easter. And this person would take this design to teacher conferences or pastoral conferences and at that time also talk about the potential for liturgical art. I made this proposal to the art faculty here at Concordia. They worked it through, refined it, and of course fully endorsed it. It went then through the administrative structures and the proposal was accepted and implemented. 
The first hired person was Mark Anschutz. We heard him speak just a few moments ago. And here we are, 15 years later. Could you believe that this proposal to somehow expand the art potential of Concordia University would lead to fabricating a 72 pane glass stained wall, stained glass wall, 20 feet high, 80 feet across, and all of those panes of glass fabricated here in Seward, and then packed and shipped to Hong Kong, where they're put in place. And not only that, folks, but here we are this afternoon, dedicating this new facility to provide working space for the Center for the Church of Art. Carol and I are thrilled to have been part of this venture, and my children join us in giving thanks to God for the opportunity. And we can only say to God be all glory.